Hello, this is Marcus from Profile Tree, and in this video, I will be showing you how to make use of the Gutenberg block editor. To use the editor, simply click on the main content of the page. Any text can be typed in or copied and pasted from an appropriate document and will retain any of its formatting. Simply hit enter to make a new paragraph. And over any existing text, we can make amends, such as changing the block type, which we'll look in more detail soon. Change the text alignment, bold, italicize, adding in a link, of which we have the option to open a new tab. Within this search box, we'll be able to search for other pages and posts within our site, or we can just simply paste in a URL. Particularly for external URLs, it's a good idea to have them open in a new tab so that users are not navigated away from your site. We have other options here as well, including text color and some development options such as inline code, which we can ignore, and some further op options here. In addition to adding in text, we can also add in custom blocks, which have various different types of content in the form of media and custom layouts. The paragraph will appear by default, but we also have the option for headings, lists, tables, and other text-based blocks. To add any of these in, Simply click on it and it will add into the next available space below. For example, in this quote one, we'll give you a prompt to add in the context of the quote. And then to add in the person who quoted it. The move items. We can use the arrows here. You can see it will bump up and move the other content down as appropriate. And all blocks behave in this similar fashion. There are many other custom blocks that you can use at your leisure. As well as some of our text based blocks, we have media, the form of images, galleries, etc. Columns, page breakers and other elements that may be useful for laying out your posts. There are also embeds for any social media or external videos that you would like to use. And depending on the nature of your site, we may also have created some custom short code catered to your website's design. Taking the image block as an example, we can see it functions very similarly to the rest of the site. We can choose to upload, pick one that's already uploaded to our media library, or insert from an external URL. After clicking on upload, your file explorer will open. We can then insert our image. Similarly to a text block, we can add in different bits of information, such as a caption. You can change the block type. When clicked on, it will allow you to change the block, and as well as give you options for different styles. We can make some amends to the image by cropping it here and more options will be given above for editing the image. Clicking on replace, we can choose a new image to put in place. And there are some several more options by clicking the three dots on the right, including removing the block entirely. All of the blocks operate and can be edited in a similar fashion. 
best way to get used to these is to create a couple example posts and publish them privately. Some further options that we have include changing the mode up in the top left by clicking on the select mode. You can instead change details using the right side rather than popping up over the element itself. You may find more extensive options for each of your blocks in this section. There is also an undo and redo button for any amendments you make, although you can also use the standard Ctrl Z. Clicking on details, you can see how many characters, words, headings, and other blocks and information that we have on the page. Clicking on these three lines, we can then see a list view of the current structure that we have on the post, matching up to the content that we see before us. And as shown before, we can make any amendments, to different options about this post on the right hand side. And that concludes the video for the Gutenberg Editor Block. Thank you.